dude, there is blood everywhere. Supposedly stuff from crime scenes and blood in the same area. But the intent murder weapon brought us to this. Last time I had one of these, one of the stupid stalkers took it from me. I don't know. Oh, what the f What's going on guys? Dan here, I'm back again with the Rananautica on a very, very bright, snowy winter day. And today we got a whole bunch of new intentions for you guys. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say here other than uh, let's get into it. So guys, we are back here uh, at a forest, as you can see, running some intents, running some intents. And guys, if you're new here, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button for me. And guys, if you're a returning subscriber, a member of the Cursed Crew, make sure to leave me a like and uh, a comment. Let's say, uh, so you do, Rain and Autica is cold last. Uh, how about, how about squirrels love randonautica? How about, no, no, geese love randonautica. How about that? Geese love randonautica. Leave me that in the comments if you're ready for the video. And uh, yeah, today we got some cool intents lined up. I um, already got one. I'm already at the point, actually pretty much yeah, at the point. I was able to park right by it. Um, but yeah, we got some, we got some intents lined up. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. And it's right over there. And this intent is from Time Lady in 221B, I think. Sorry if I butchered that name. Um, and it's uh, Unsolved Mysteries again, I think, I think the intent was. So we're gonna go take a look. It's, yeah, literally like right over here. So let's go check. But yeah, guys, today, today is not a bad day. As you can see, I just have a hoodie on. Uh, it's not too cold. It's not too hot. The snow is melting a little bit, as you can see. Um, but it's, it's an acceptable winter day. Uh, I think tonight's going to be cold, which is going to be proved problematic because I am going to do, I've already sighed, no matter what, I am going to do intense tonight because I, I know that you, like, that you guys like me doing randonautica at night. So... I am going to be, are there, uh, the, my last intent will be at night, maybe last two intents will be at night tonight, so don't worry about it, but our point is literally, like, there, like right there, so, let's go take a look, take a look, see what's over here, looks like somebody took a sled all the way down to the water to uh, go ice fishing. Maybe they're just sledding here. This actually would be a really fun sledding hill. It's like super, super long. I think that's really cool. If you're going sledding, you know, you know one thing about going sledding in the winter, and that is the ride is always over so quick. But yeah, like a long hill like this, this would be awesome. It'd be slow, it'd be a slower ride, but it'd be fun. And not such a pain in the ass to walk back up. So let's look around. And immediately, I'm not seeing too much. Uh, I could go for like unsolved mysteries again, but I mean, that's pretty, pretty broad. So what I like to do in a chase like this, I like to investigate around the trees. We find a lot of stuff hidden in trees and by trees and stuff like that. And wait, there's a bottle right there. Could this have something to do with the, with the Rainonautica? Or could it be something somebody dropped as they were headed down? Actually, 
Looks like, dude, it looks almost like like a cigarette inside there. Maybe it's like, dude, yeah, it kind of looks like a cigarette. Like, look at that. Or something else. Maybe somebody was keeping this in there. Like, uh, a little, little smoky smoke, keeping it in there so it didn't, like, you know, smell. And they were taking it down to uh, enjoy while ice fishing. And it fell off their sled. Because ice fishermen usually use these sleds. They keep all their supplies on them. And so it's, like, easier for them to take, like, uh, take onto the ice instead of having to carry everything. Because it just slides across the snow. Actually, no, that isn't. It's been here a while. It's packed with snow. That isn't. What is that? Let's find out what this is. What do you think? Nice bottle. Okay, it is not a cigarette or uh, any sort of smoking paraphernalia but can you kind of, can you see like why i thought that was like the tapered end it, it looks like it looks like a joint or something but it's not I'm trying to see it's actually got tape on it kind of bizarre but we got to cut this tape off uh, so no, that's one thing that sucks there's nowhere I can like put my camera down without it getting wet. <sighs> Happy to have this bottle though. That'll be cool. <sighs> if you guys didn't know, which you probably didn't because I don't think I've said anything, I started making my own homemade wine, uh, mead, honey wine. So I always need bottles like this. I've been picking a bunch up at thrift stores and stuff. So it's my first batch though, so it's probably gonna come out terribly, but I'm gonna have to set you guys in the car. While I figure out how to you gonna stay or you're gonna fall. Hope you stay. Stay camera. Okay. Let's figure out how to open this thing up without destroying it. There's definitely tape on there. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh, that's what we do on this channel, though. I don't know if this knife is going to do it because it's super dull. Oh, there we go. You don't have to worry about the knife cutting my seats because it's so dull. Come on. I think I just cut all the way like through this because it's rolled pretty tight. So I think I just cut all the way through it, like through a couple of these pages. Oops. Bro, I just open up. Holy, like, who went through so much trouble? I did kind of cut my... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Just kidding. I can quit using the knife on a seat. I thought I cut my leather seats. But it was just a piece of paper that popped off of here. All right, this thing's coming apart like all, all wonky because I cut through like two pages of and dude. It's like, ah, oh, man. So it looks like it's not only taped, but it's been glued as well. <laughs> this is a disaster. This is this is an absolute disaster. For our first intent and it's definitely going to be unsolved mysteries because i have no idea what it's going to say because it's all ripped up what do we got dude this is okay i did a number on this thing yeah 
It looks like it's like some sort of code. T Y uh, V L E H T E O N I H A S D S E R E I S E T. I don't know. So it looks like it's some type of code in here. Actually, I'm going to get in the car because I'm cold. I am very, very cold now. I was fine at first, but now it's now it's like now nah, it's too much. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, this looks like some type of code. I don't know, or maybe it's like some type of word search. I don't know, dude. I. And like I said, it doesn't help that I absolutely destroyed this thing. There we go. No, I think I pieced it back together. Okay, T-Y-V-L-E-H-T-E-O-N. So, whoops. Yeah. All right, well, that's definitely an unsolved mystery because we're not going to figure it out now because I just wrecked it. Um... Wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe I'm supposed to read it like like down cuz T H I S this. This, okay. This is uh, oh, on L Oh, only. This is only the starts start I don't know what this is supposed to be. V E a R E N start. What is this? I think I'm missing. I think I'm missing a part that I cut out. This is R C. Oh, okay, this is only the starts. Uh, I don't know what this is. No. R. R. No. Set. And. Set. Off. Yeah, I don't know what this says. <laughs> I cannot figure it out. Here, let me, here, I'm going to try and piece this together for you guys, and if you guys can figure it out, let me know in the comments, because I have no idea what this is. Okay. There we go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see it. I wish I had some tape in here. So here, I'll give you guys the top line. There's the top line. There's the second line. So yeah, if you guys can figure out what it's saying, let me know, because I just... Okay, this is only the starts, and then I don't know what this letter is supposed to be at all. I, I definitely ripped a big chunk out of it, because it's something E, something E, but I can't think of a word with two. R, not close to the end. Oh, okay. Uh, this is not, this is not, this is not, wait, this is only 
the start, we, I think it's a W, we are not close to the end. I think that's what it says. I'm trying to hold this. Ugh. Very awkward angle. Okay, this is not close to the, this is only the start. Oh, uh, huh, we're not close to the end. Okay, that's very weird. Whatever. All right, guys, so we, I think we figured that out. Let me know if you read something else different in the comments. But uh, I'm going to set another intent and we'll go to the next one and uh, figure it out. But thank you for that um, intent. Um, that is definitely uh, another unsolved mystery for sure, especially after I destroyed it. But all right, guys, let's roll to the next intent. We are en route to our next intent, and this one was submitted by Sandra Bowers. And Sandra's intent was uh, over and out. So we're going to go see what we can find. And the point is actually out by the ice on this lake. Let's go check it out. I don't think it's... I don't think it's on the ice, but I think it's actually out on that pier. Ugh. Snow's at least nice and packed, so not sinking in it. Yeah, I think the intent's right out here right on the end of this pier. So there's a bunch of people ice fishing out here today. Pretty cool, pretty nice day for it because it's warm. Let's see what we got at the end of this thing. How, how, tell me this, how is the snow deeper on the pier than it is on land, whatever. All right, so I'm not seeing much. But, uh, yeah, it definitely looks like a solid day to be out here ice fishing. <laughs> I haven't been ice fishing in years. But, uh, I'm going to see people have jumped down onto the lake. So maybe I should do the same. See if there's anything maybe under the dock or anything like that. It's always a weird feeling when you first get onto an icy lake. I don't know how many of you have done that, but a lake that's frozen over. It doesn't feel like that first step when you get onto it. It feels like you shouldn't be there. <laughs> like you should not be doing this, but you know, it's fine. Like it's, I think, I think it's, um, I think it's, the ice is about 12 inches thick right now, which could hold my car. Um, but yeah, let's look around. Maybe they put something under the pier or no? No, I don't think so. Over and out. What could that intent be? I don't know exactly. Definitely a wind coming off here though. Getting a little bit cold. I mean, I'm still kind of comfortable in my, uh, in my hoodie, but yeah. Yeah, people are out here, though. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, anyways. So let's just... Yo, wait. Here's something. Do not open crime scene collectible. Now that certainly doesn't seem too authentic. What the? Why is it out here? 
doesn't make much sense. Do not open crime scene collectible. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't inspire me with any sense of authenticity. But I can almost be certain that that is supposed to be our intent. Let's go. Let's go over by the shore and take a look at this. Because it's taped shut. It might be frozen shut. The thing is, is, why is it on a pier? The only thing I can think of is it's on a pier because somebody came out here to dump, you know, to dump evidence, but that doesn't make any sense because it's the winter. It wouldn't be chilling on the pier from summer all the way till now. It doesn't make any sense. That just wouldn't happen. So why is it out there? And why is it called a crime scene collectible? Why is it not called crime scene evidence or something? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like it's taped on big time. Go back over to my car. Take a look at this. It's really weird. Very strange find in a very strange place. Look at this. Bro, looks like somebody was bleeding. Oh, oh wow, yeah, big time, dude. Yo. Something, dude, there's, whoa, what the, bro, there's blood everywhere. It makes me wonder, like, what, who or what? Where's the blood trail go? Because it's here. Yeah, I don't, it kind of ends, it's kind of in this circle. So I wonder if it's like an animal or something? I don't know. That's really, really weird. So we find crime scene evidence and blood everywhere. I'm trying to see where it goes. So yeah, there's blood, there's blood. There's blood. And then it just kind of ends, it's just like in that area. Yeah, that's strange. That's really strange. I'm still looking for it on the ground, but I don't see anything. Like I said, I'm wondering if it's like animals, like from animals like fighting over food, or uh, find a crime scene, supposedly stuff from crime scenes, and blood in the same area. I'm interested to get this thing open though. See what's in it. Let's find out. Oh, man. Walking through snow is hard work. I need to get back on the cardio grind. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm gonna get this thing open. Very interesting that I have to use. Knife two times in a row too. Dude, I need a new knife. This thing is such, this thing doesn't have a point on it anymore. And it's about as sharp as a butter knife. I'm not, dude, I'm not even joking. This thing is, this knife is a joke. I mean, I've used it a ton. I haven't bothered to sharpen it, but... So 
so I guess I gotta take all the uh, responsibility for that. Been a great knife, but. Nope, oh, got it open. Popped open. Let's find out what's in here. Oh, we've gotten stuff like this before. Yeah, we've gotten stuff like this before. It's not going to focus. This is going to be way too hard to pick up on camera. But what this is, it's a piece of film or maybe tape, I don't know. And there is a fingerprint on it. Like a fingerprint nicely preserved right in the middle of it. And it's in a, it's an old film container, not open crime scene evidence. So, beats me. Kind of very weird. No idea, there's no way to tell if it's authentic or not. I'm leaning towards no because just because it's such an odd place to find it out there. Like it just didn't make any sense to find it like on a dock, buried in just like a little bit of snow. Whatever. Um, so yeah. So we got a weird message that's there's like some half-assed code, and we got uh, crime scene evidence, I guess. Fantastic. All right, so we are off on a on a roll to today's Randonautica. All right, I'm going to set another intent, and we'll get on with it. All right, guys, we just pulled up. I'm still in the same place. We just pulled up to our next intent spot, and this is, uh, this is from Anita Burkett, our, our good friend Anita Burkett. And I figure, you know, in lieu of finding a, you know, a crime scene evidence and blood, the only fitting intent is the one that Anita gave us to do next, and that's a murder weapon. So we have our intent set for murder weapon, and uh, this is another one out by the ice. So I think it should be kind of interesting. Look at that, dude. That's creepy. Like some animal, some wild animal tunneled their way into the uh, into the into the bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, it's out here by this pier or whatever you call it. I think okay, I think this is a pier, and then where you put boats is a dock. I don't know. See, so, yeah, I'm on the other side of a lake now. You can see over there where those gentlemen are fishing, on the, the ones to the right. That's where I was before. That's where I just found that other one. And I drove around to this other side of the lake uh, for this other intent. Okay, so the point's like right here, right up here in the middle of this thing, but I don't know. Oh, wow. Look at all these ice fishing holes. People have been doing work out here. They're everywhere. Lots of ice fishing holes out here. Big one over there. So yeah. We're looking. We're looking. Murder weapon. Murder weapon out here. Ice fishing murders. I think that's actually a book. I think I actually have a book that I haven't read called The Ice Fishing Murders or something like that. Okay. Oh, wait, here's here, here, here. 
we got something. Nope, just kidding. I saw just a section of snow that was like scraped away. I was like, oh, there's definitely something here. But I'm mistaken. Yo, there's, is that something? I can't tell from here. I'm trying to zoom in. Yeah, I see something on the ice. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to go venture out on the ice again. Must be why they took this railing out. Easier to walk out on the ice. <sighs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought that we'd be random nodding on on the ice. What is this? Oh, it's a knife. Swiss Army knife. I found a couple of these too. <laughs> Always nice to find them. I got, I got one in my car actually. <laughs> and one that I found on Randonautica. It's always nice to find these things. Very useful. Dope. Is this a murder weapon? I don't know. I guess I could find it kind of fit the description. I don't think I don't think this is a murder weapon that we're looking for. But uh yeah. So huh, okay, we found a Swiss Army knife. Cool. Thank you, Anita. You found us a murder weapon Swiss Army knife. I will keep that. Let's take a let's poke around out here for a bit. See if there's any maybe any other clues or evidence. How many of you guys have been like ice fishing and stuff? I found like what has sucked is uh I had this happen to me a time or two when I was younger is like when you're out ice fishing and you're walking out to the spot or just out playing on the ice and you come across a hole that somebody just made for ice fishing like maybe you know a few hours ago <laughs> i've had a few times where i was like where i was a kid and i straight up was just walking across the ice didn't see it and just blunt leg plunged straight into the hole because <laughs> it wasn't frozen back over yet let's see if this one is Oh yeah, that one's frozen. That one's frozen real good. Yeah, ice is super solid though. I wish I still had the equipment for ice fishing. I'd definitely go. Let me know, what should we do? Should we do next year? Cursed Urban, uh, Cursed Urban Ice Fishing Meetup. <laughs> It was, I don't know why. I don't know why I think this is so cool. I did think it was cool that we have found that we have been on a frozen lake for some intense today. Um, I don't know. I think that's, I don't know why I think that's cool. I just think it's cool. You know, it's one of those things you can't explain. Like maybe some of you guys are like, oh, you're just walking on a lake, Dan. That's lame. Okay, it might be lame, but I think it's cool. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a very, very, like, you, like, a very, like, unique place to do Randonautica. Like, how many, how many Randonautica people have gone onto the frozen lake before? Probably not a lot. Probably not a lot, so. I'm still feeling pretty good, like, right now, like, I think it's, I think it's the area, I mean, like, they, it's like this little hill, it's blocking the wind, because the wind's coming from that way. Um, feeling pretty good, like, not, I'm not, like, I'm not like super warm, but I mean, I'm. If I was out here for you know another half an hour, I'd survive. Um, but all right, guys. Uh, so we have gotten a weird letter with code, which is just writing vertically. Well, wow, good job on being edgy, I guess. Uh, we got a murder or a crime scene evidence, which proves nothing, and we got a murder weapon, which is another Swiss Army light knife to add to my collection. Um, 
that's how we're that's how we're faring so far in Randonautica today. Which, don't get me wrong, I'll take it. It's fine. Um, but I think I'm probably going to stop doing Randonautica for right now, and uh, we will resume later this evening um, when it's nighttime out. Because, like I said, I know you guys like the in the dark randonauticas. So I'm trying to have a nice balance of daytime and nighttime randonauticas. Because let's be real. All of it in the day is lame. Nobody wants to just see me walk around all day long and be like, oh, I, I did randonautica in the day. Really spooky. Like, nobody wants to see that. I mean, some people do. But not the, the, the vast majority don't. So, um... Yeah, we will uh, we will definitely be doing some nighttime randonautica tonight, and hopefully find some cool stuff. Uh, I'm either gonna do one or two intense. I haven't decided tonight, but I feel like this was a good start today. Like like I said, I questioned the authenticity of you know two thirds of the stuff that we found, but. You know, it's still, it's still cool. I mean, it could be, it could be, you know, it could be actual crime scene evidence. But, you know, we don't know. Like, it could be real stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to verify that. Because even if I take it to, like, the police department, I'm like, here, I found this. Well, they'll never tell me if it's real or not. They, they might not even, you know, run the prints or anything. But, all right, guys, uh, I'm going to go get some stuff done, I think. By stuff done, I mean go hang out at my friend's house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I got a few things to do. I got to go pick up some supplies. Um, but, yeah, so we will be, I don't know, we'll be back in touch tonight. We're going to find some more stuff tonight find some good stuff tonight I know it I have a feeling a good feeling about this one guys good feeling that we're gonna find some cool stuff but uh all right I'll shut up uh I'll see you guys in a couple hours or for you a couple seconds all right guys we are back we are back at some desolate area got a nice break got a few things done and uh we are out here coming to see what our last intent is and this one is from kyle part of the cursed crew uh big shout out to you kyle and uh kyle's intent is what did i set it for within hold on need to check sorry kyle I forgot your intent I mean, I said it, I said it, deep within, deep within is Kyle's intent. I said it, I just forgot it. Just like that commercial, said it and forget it. I don't remember, what's that commercial from? You gotta set, you can set it and forget it. Dude, and this is creeping the absolute hell out of me, guys. Dude, I'm hearing all the trees like, uh, like creaking, making noise. And it's, it's, it's terrifying tonight, honestly. <laughs> so, we're out here. The point is over there. Um, yeah, it's a nice night out. It's actually not that cold, surprisingly. It's just so quiet. So yeah, deep within. There's a big field out here. Let's see if I can make it a little bit brighter. You guys can see it. Yeah, there's a big field out here. Um, and I'm waiting to see like a deer or a coyote run across it and scare me. Because <laughs> I know it'll happen. Um, and I hope my battery makes it through this. Yeah, it will. Okay, I was just looking at my battery. It's getting a little bit low. Okay, so let's take a look over here. It's 
cold out, man. Super, super cold out. I just said it's like, I was just like, you know, it's, it's nice out. It's, it's a warmer night. It feels, you know, feels nice for winter. Nope. Just kidding. I recant that statement. It's cold. Okay. So this is where the point is. Um, deep within. I'm not seeing anything that could be maybe deep within that snow pile or something. There's my, my bent glove finger. Yo, dude, what is that? Bro, dude, I'm hearing stuff everywhere, man. And I know, I know it's just the trees creaking. I know it's the snow. I know every, it's dropping degrees. You know, every, it's start, like all the branches, all the, everything's starting to settle in for the night. Man, that doesn't make it any more less scary, dude. Like, straight up, this is, dude, it's creepy out here, man. I'm right by my car and I'm still like kind of freaked out. Man, all right, I'm gonna have to keep this light down a little bit. Sorry, the battery is really low on that. I only got one, but I know the other one I have only has like 10% charge, 20% charge. Look at all these footprints. Is this from a dog? It's from a dog, that's from one big ass dog, dude. Like a Great Dane or something. We don't have any wolves out here. Actually, we might. I know. I know. Uh, wolves have been pushing down from Wisconsin, but I don't know if they've. I know they've been spotted in Illinois, but I don't know if they're like part of Illinois yet. If that makes sense. I, I don't think we have any wolves in this area. So it's probably just somebody's huge dog. All right. You seeing anything deep within? I'm kind of wondering if it's over there. And there's footprints too. There's footprints too leading into that forest deep within. But I don't know, that's kind of too far for the point. deep here. Oh, there's something. Yo, I'm... I just found this. I just heard something too. Did you guys hear that? I bet I got it on a video. It sounded like a, it sounded like a, like a tap, 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 like a metallic tapping. Bro, but yeah, just to make a note, because usually I like to document my finds where they are. It was right behind that post, this thing. And this is, I think, the third case I've gotten. <sighs> I, I believe this is the third case I've gotten. I've, I've had these before. I don't know what's in it. There's, it's heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's, it's got some weight to it. I don't know if I have the key to it, though. Last time I had one of these, one of the stupid stalkers took it from me. Dude. Oh man. Dude, it's scary, dude. It's scary out here. All right, so we got this case. It's definitely locked and there's something inside of it and I don't think we have the keys to it so yeah all right but but we'll take this back to my house I got tools we'll, we'll break this thing open tonight that'll be the that'll be the next thing I film is guys we will literally break this thing open tonight 
I got a crowbar. I got uh, I, I got a lot of stuff. We'll get it open. It won't be a problem. Well, it'll be kind of a problem, but we will get this open. We'll see what's in it. So that'll be cool for this video is us breaking this case open and hopefully finding something. Well, I guarantee we'll find something really interesting inside. So, uh, yeah. All right. Um, well, that one's pretty smoothly. I'm kind of considering... I'm kind of considering setting one more intent. I don't know if that'd be a good or a bad idea. Um, cause I know you guys, I know you guys like the nighttime intents cause you know, for real, it's creepy. You know, you watch these, you watch these videos to be creeped out and at night it is creepy. Um, so I'm kind of thinking of, an, of another intent. I haven't really made up my mind yet. I don't know. Let me get my car on, my jacket off of my car on, and I'll decide. Oh, I don't know if you guys ever knew this, but I, I actually, I feel like a lot of people are the same way. I hate driving with my coat on. Does anybody feel the same way? Like, almost every time I get in my car, coat comes off, unless I know I'm getting out again really quick. But, dude, I cannot stand driving with my coat on. It's so annoying. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get ready to go. I'm going to decide if we're going to do one more intention or not. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I have decided I'm not going to run another intent because uh, I don't know how long this thing's going to take to open up. It could be 15 minutes, it could be an hour, it could be two hours. So it's getting late. I kind of want to get home and just like do this, which I mean, I figure like whatever we find in here, it's probably going to be cooler than another intent anyways. So, um, yeah, I'm just, we're going to do that. So I'm going to head home and then probably the next thing that you see is going to be like, dude, somebody just threw something at my car. Dude, look. Right there. Somebody just threw somebody just threw a snowball at my car. But who? There's nobody out here. Huh? Well, you know what? You guys are gonna call me stupid in the comments. But I am going to check and confront whoever this is. I'm not parked under any trees or anything like that. It's not like a piece of snow, just, yeah, you can see it, dude, right there. Somebody literally threw a snowball at the car. And like I said, I'm not parked under any trees. That's not over my car and it's not going to fall perfectly on the side window. Hey, yo, whoever's out here, come out. Don't be a little bitch. They couldn't have, dude, they couldn't have gone far. It hit me like dead on, but I didn't see, I bet they're in there somewhere. All right, so, I don't know. Oh, what the? Dude, who, what the f do you want? Who are you? <clears throat> what do you want? You want the intent? Show, get that out of my face. Get that out of my face, holy I'll give it to you, dude. You want this? Oops, pick it up yourself, kid.
where did that stalker come from? I have not seen that one in a very long time. If you guys remember, like I'm talking months, dude. I have not seen that guy in like months. Um, where did they come from and why are they here? My theory, my working theory is this, as of right now, because I thought about it obviously really hard because they just had a uh, knife against my neck. Um, I think that's one of the people that ran with the uh, flashlight stalker and the tape mask stalker because they were, they, okay, and I say that because what I found on that intent, that, that black lockbox. I found one or maybe two of those before. I think one, maybe two. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I found one of them before. And when I did, literally pretty much the same exact thing happened. The tape mask stalker came up, put a gun to my head and took it from me. And now we have this one who essentially did the same thing. And what's weird is I was thinking like, okay, because this happened like this happened before I even left where where the point was. So what I think happened is the stalker knew that that thing was somewhere in that vicinity and couldn't find it, and knew I was going to come for one of my points and find it and then for them, or simply. You know, they just wanted to, you know, intimidate me, which I, which I see being plausible because if he was part of that group with the tape mask stalker and the flashlight stalker, obviously, you know, he'd want to like let, um, let me know that he's still around, um, Yeah, it was, that was, dude, I, I don't know, I don't know what to think of that, though, it, it's absolutely ridiculous, man, like, I just, because, like, you guys saw what happened, like, somebody hit my window with a snowball, I get out, which I probably shouldn't have done, I guess this entire situation would have been avoided if I drove away, and I know a ton of you are going to be like, Dan, you're an idiot in the comments, you're, you're an idiot for getting out of the car, which, don't get me wrong, I rightfully deserve, but, um, no, like, it didn't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why I felt like, it, like getting out, for some reason, I thought it was, like, maybe, like, some, some kids or something, like, in the, uh, in the tree line, because I looked, and I didn't see anybody, like, I was like, okay, they gotta be way back in the trees, and then, I don't know, dude, I don't know. That's where we're at. I just lost another lockbox. So whatever's in those, whatever's in those has to be obviously something they want. Because they are the most aggressive when I find those. Um, what I think it is, what I think that is, is some sort of information about the cult. Um, I think that's... that's information about the cult that we've been dealing with and those guys want it for themselves whatever that information is i have no idea it's got to be pretty pretty valuable though for them to uh to do all this um but yeah i don't know i, I don't know what else i can say like you guys saw what happened um and then and then as soon as he got that case, he was out of there. Like I, like when I when I ran around my car, I didn't, I didn't see him anywhere. Not that I looked very hard, you know. I saw a straight shot to my car, and I got out of there as fast as I could. But still, and around and around we go, playing the Ran and Nautica game. Let me know, guys. As usual, let me know in the comments what you think. What you think is going on with this? With this now, dude? It's always something. We can never just have a nice day doing Randonautica, can we? Never just have a nice, a nice day doing Randonautica. Anyways, um, 
Anyways, all right, let's let's attempt to go out on a positive note because I don't want to do two videos in a row where I, I, you know, I'm in this bad mood at the end. You know, I always like to try and, you know, have some sort of fun towards the end. The last time, the last video, I that just no, that just wasn't going to happen. I don't know. What can we talk about? What can we, we can we talk about that's that's nice and positive. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll definitely keep you updated if I if I come across anything else. But uh, yeah, uh, guys, thank you for being with me here today. Um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, thank you for all the support that you've get, been giving me on these. It's been awesome. And if you guys could make sure again to share, like, and comment on the videos, you know that is that's that'd be much appreciated. Um, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, but yeah, you guys have been blowing it up, and I really appreciate the support, and I appreciate every one of you. Um, another big shout-out goes to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. Um, thank you guys. You guys made tonight's video possible, and if you are interested in supporting the channel, um, taking it one step further, our links to uh, Patreon and channel memberships are in the description. So, um, so if you'd like to you know, donate, uh, please feel free to check those out. A little bit goes a long ways. Um, you know, a couple bucks buys me, you know, a gallon of gas to get out to these places to film these crazy videos and get chased around for you guys. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, oh, one thing I wanted to address. Uh, I've seen your comments. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've said this before, but people keep commenting, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm not, like, you know, trying to uh, talk down on that at all. It's, it's This is a perfectly valid question. When is the four hour Randonautica coming? You said you're gonna do a four hour Randonautica. I promise it is on the forefront of my mind. Um, I am gonna still do a, a four hour Randonautica. It looks like it, like I was planning it out. I had this big special thing planned and then we got this terrible like snow, cold weather, all this, but we're, st we're on the tail end of it now. We're starting to come out of it. So soon as it is viable, I will be filming that four hour Randonautica. I'm actually probably going to do two of them. One will be now in the winter, um, and it's gonna be a little bit different. And then the one I originally wanted to do, I have a very special place I wanna go do Randonautica at. Um, I wanted to do that in the fall, but I didn't, it just didn't work out. So as soon as the spring comes, um, I'm going to be doing probably another three or four hour Randonautica in the original spot I wanted to, but four hour Randonautica is coming. Um, it's going to be, I don't, it, I'm going to do something good for it. I'm going to do something special for it, something different. Um, actually, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. What, what are your ideas for the four hour Randonautica? Do you have, do you have some special ideas, something that you'd like to see me do? And I'm not talking about just intense, like anything, like anything, something special that you'd like to see on, on the video. Let me know. But, all right, guys. Uh, all right. Uh, thankfully, just talking to you guys has helped me. No, excuse me. Just talking to you guys has helped me calm down quite a bit, um, which, you know, it's always good. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you again for everything. Um, I'm going to get home, and I look forward to seeing what you guys think about this and what you guys think about what's going on. Um, all right, guys. Uh, appreciate you. Have a good night. Ah, have a good night or day, wherever you're at. And I'll see you very soon on the next video. Peace out, guys.